So one of the things that we also need to think about, the last factor, is around that uh, post-fire uh, recovery of those pastures. And some of those factors we need to think about is uh, how those, uh, those, those plant species recover. So whether they're perennials or annuals, do they need a rest period? Uh, do you need to graze those paddocks? Uh, do you, can you uh, leave those paddocks for a period of time uh, so they do actually have that rest? Um, so they do actually put out their, their seed heads, in this case you know, native, this is the, the wallaby grass putting out seed head. So it's actually able to increase its, uh, its population within that paddock. So think about assessing those pastures, so what species you might have, what you need to, to uh, maintain them or enhance them. Think about you know, whether you need to take some soil tests if you are changing your species. What are the most appropriate species that you might need to, to put in, when that might happen. Think about those weeds and what you need to get on top of before you put a new pasture in, if that's what you want to do. Think about the legislation that you may need to consider when you're actually uh, perhaps re-sowing new pastures or putting forage crops into some of those pastures as well.